The world is in a power crisis and Generac might just be the company to take advantage of this. The stock is currently trading at $118.78 on a P ratio of 18.61. Price to book most recent quarter is sitting at 3.8 and price to sales sitting at 2.13 with a price to free cash flow sitting at 198. Looking at the analyst consensus, we have five hold ratings and three buy ratings on the stock. And looking at the historical pricing on the stock, we can see back in November 2021, the stock was trading at $505. So it's been a quite a big fall for the stock. Looking at the cash flow statement, we can see that uh, they've gone from 308 to 486 to 411 and then to 149. So a little bit inconsistent on the operating cash flows, but generally uh, not too bad, except of course for this last trailing 12 months. And then looking at the free cash flows, 248, 424, 301, and then down to 47. So in the last Last trailing 12 months there has been some pressure but in the lead up up to 2021 exceptional performance if we look at the balance sheet we can see moving from 2019 across to 2021 2.6 uh, 3.2 4.8 and then in the trailing 12 months 5.47 billion liabilities have moved from 1.6 1.8 2.6 to 2.9 and looking at the equity have gone from 1.3 1.39 2.21 and then currently sitting at 2.5 billion. The income statements equally are looking pretty good. Uh, as we move across the line here, we can see especially on the EPS, they've uh, done pretty well. 2019, 3.99, 2020, 5.46, and then in 2021, an exceptional year at 8.27. Trailing 12 months falling back a little bit at 7.94, but still a pretty decent result. Looking at the fundamental scoring, the P ratio is, uh, of course, between uh, 1 and 25 at 18 on our targets uh, net margin sitting at 12 percent so that's above our ratio of 10 percent net equity is of course positive and unfortunately there has been some shareholder dilution so we're sitting here with a scoring of 75 percent on the fundamentals as we move along to debt we can see they are scoring exceptionally well at 100 percent uh, the debt to equity ratio of course is less than 40 percent current ratio coming in at 2.13 so that's exceptional and uh, free cash flow to debt coming in at 11.56 percent so that is of course above our 10 percent benchmark so again 100 percent on the debt momentum they are scoring 67 percent the only two key areas where they're being marked down as i mentioned earlier operating cash flow and free cash flow has been a little bit inconsistent in the trailing 12 months and as we move down to uh, growth they have had exceptional growth uh, over the last four years and uh, return on equity 26 percent return on asset 10.02 percent return on investor capital 21.44 percent and as we move down to the earnings per share 18 0.8% uh, compound annual growth. And then if we look at the summaries, we are looking at fundamentals 75%, we are looking at debt 100%, momentum 67%, and growth 100%. Now looking at a quick DCF calculation on the stock, uh, if we forecasting our two, four, and six on the growth rates on a fair target P of 18, which is of course where they're currently situated, a discount rates of 10, we're coming in at a fair price today of $136.18. Now, of course, uh, if we look at the current price, 11878, that does indicate that there is a decent fair value. However, you do need to take into account that there is a fair amount of uh, a cyclical nature to the stock so do keep that in mind and if we look ahead at the analyst consensus in terms of pricing looking forward 268 i think that's a little bit bullish in my personal opinion and if we are looking at the growth rates we're looking at potentially 13 percent per year is what the analysts are predicting out on the stock now just a reminder we are looking for some beta testers on our stock screen app which you're seeing in front of you here so if you would like to register as a beta tester please go along to stockscreen.app and then go and click on the logo uh, this will open up the waiting list sign up for the waiting list and uh, we'll notify you as soon as we open up to beta testers so a lot of you guys have been asking what has happened to long format stock analysis video so guys i'm going to answer this one very quickly I don't believe that you need to be spending 20 minutes watching a video on YouTube 
breaking down a stock when something like a stock screen app can literally give you an answer within five minutes as to whether a stock is worth looking at or not. Now, there is of course a deeper study around a stock if it is worth looking at, which is the business case analysis. That falls way outside of stock analysis. And of course, that is something that needs much deeper um, investigation and analysis. And uh, that's something that personally, I just do not have the time to invest into for a channel like this. Myself and Davi have our own businesses that we run and uh, this channel just simply does not warrant that kind of input at this moment in time. So for now, you guys are gonna have to make do with uh, stock screening. And uh, from time to time, when we do decide to do longer format videos, uh, I really do hope that you guys will support those videos. And of course, uh, when we do decide to do live streams, that is the time when you guys should be jumping on, uh, getting on board and watching those live streams. And then of course, putting your case forward for the business case studies on the stocks that you're interested in. However, to be perfectly honest, in the last couple of live streams we had, they were not very well supported. And because of this, I have my reservations about continuing to do live streams here on the channel until we gain a lot more traction. So with that said, let me know which stocks you'd like me to look at next. Drop me a comment down below. Make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.